Good afternoon. Today I explore Ginza, which is arguably Japan's wealthiest area, most upscale area. So yeah, very excited to check this place out. Now I'm going to take the Ginza line, which is a different... I normally take the JR Metro system here, but the Ginza line is not the JR Metro. So different system, but I'm going to give this a shot. So I, I'm also very excited to ride the Ginza line. So this is the uh, Tokyo Metro, which is I've never uh, been on. As I stated, I've always been on the JR. So yeah, Ginza line. Thing is, uh, Google Maps makes it very easy to get around here. So, at least as far as the metros go. Uh, sometimes the locations on the map are not exactly accurate. It's similar, similar in the Philippines. Um, where it's like you're walking around and the map just doesn't exactly know how to take you to where you need to go but the metro mapping is very good Ginza is it Ginza or Ginza? tell me I think my Ecoba card works here yes it does okay Oh, this is uh, simple, very simple. So we're gonna ride five stops, eight minutes. You know what guys, I went the wrong way. I'm in Ueno and that is the opposite way of Ginza. So, okay, where, how do I get to Ginza now? Let's see here. Okay, I went this way. And what I need to do is go this way. So I went here like this and I wanted to go. Alright, so. This is a. Uh, I thought I was an expert in metros. I'm not. Here, and I want to go this way. So it's platform one. Yeah. Cost me like a dollar. Oh well, you live in New Orleans. Okay. Double checking. Okay, perfect. So then we're going to ride to Ginza. Triple checking. G16 to G9. Okay. Well, this is the uh, joys of travel, guys. It's actually kind of fun. It's a it's a low cost mistake. It's, it's a dollar, but just reloading this thing is kind of annoying. I can't get a refund on this one because I bought this in Kyoto, so I can get I can't get the my refund on the Coca card in Tokyo. I'd have to get a Suica card. Is what it is. All right, and I'm just gonna pick an exit here because I am just kind of exploring Ginza. I don't really have a plan. Yes, yeah, so let's take the stairs. Oh man, even the metro station is fancy. Yeah, this is gonna be nice. Look at this. The metro station looks completely different from the other ones I've been to here in Tokyo. Okay guys, so looking at this, this seems to be the place that would be best for me. So we've got the Mitsukashi department store, which I've been to this one in um, BGC in the Philippines. It's a really good mall in the Philippines. I'm sure it's amazing here. It's a Japanese mall, of course. And you have Ginza Terrace, Ginza Tourist Information. But this is also very interesting. So this walkway, which looks very cool and trendy, I guess takes you to Inza 6. So what do I do? What do I do, guys? I'm kind of curious, but I think that we'll just do them both eventually. But I think what I'm gonna do is I need to check out the Mitsukashi Mall here in Japan because I really liked it in the Philippines. 
Yeah, okay, this takes us outside. Oh, the air fit feels fresh and nice here in Japan, I have to say. Even though this is, and in Tokyo, even though this is the world's largest city, the air feels very clean and fresh. Okay, so we are put right out here when we come out of the metro station. So, I'm assuming, yes, this is Mitsukashi Mall. Yes, I need to go in here. I absolutely need to go in here. And, quick glance, so many department and retail stores. Looks like we've got a Sony building over here as well. And yeah, seems like lots of stuff going on. So, which way do I start? Well, I think we're gonna go into the Mitsukashi Mall. It's like Mitsukashi's over here and over here. Yeah, it looks like multiple, there must be like a connecting bridge or something. Yeah, there it is. So you can get in multiple ways into the mall. Let's just go in this way. I guess this is a road, a public road. But yeah, let's just walk down here. It's interesting. You know, I've noticed not many people wear shorts in Japan, even in uh, when the weather's boiling hot. So I love to wear shorts, so I feel a little, little out, out of place. But okay, which way? I don't know. I guess we're gonna go in this way. Okay. Oh boy, is it busy. Okay, I see Gucci. I see stores here that are very high end, is what I was expecting. Now I'm gonna choose to take the escalator. Okay, this guy's directing traffic here. Okay, this is going down to B1, which is cosmetics. That's not what I want. No need for cosmetics. Oh wow, yes. This is a exciting place to be right now. I guess out here, other side of the road, obviously. And yeah, let's just go upstairs. So women's shoes and socks also don't need that, but I'm assuming somewhere will be men's stuff. So it's exciting, guys. This is a much, 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 much bigger scale than the one in the BGC. Actually, the one in the BGC is not even really complete, but it's a very cool mall either way. So Ginza Dining. Yeah, I would like to get some sushi. I don't know if it's gonna be here or not. Chanel. Pick yourself up a nice Chanel bag here. Okay, this is also women's clothing. On this floor. Also women's clothing on the fourth floor, so that's three floors of women's clothing. Maybe I'm in the wrong side, I don't know. Oh, don't those look good? Oh, man. Okay, and we're at the uh, men's clothing here. I would like to check out the Uniqlo. I know there's a Uniqlo around here. And somebody told me that Uniqlo in Japan is one of the cheapest ones that you can find in the world. Okay, so the seventh floor, I believe, is dining. Let's just take a look at uh, some of the men's clothing shops here. Okay, so, okay, you got a pre-order these clothing. Ooh, very nice jacket here. It does get very cold here in Japan, as I've read. Oh, it feels so good. Light, but I'm sure it keeps you very warm. I'm literally not seeing any brands that I know, which means these are very, very, very high-end. 
Here is Chandler Sky Dining. It is about three o'clock. I haven't really had a meal other than some rice. Had a rice ball earlier. Been eating them. They're they're great from 7-Eleven. Pizza Chandelier Sky, I think would be a cool place to check out. Here it is. Looks like people are uh, relaxing here. Looks like some art on the walls. Got a bit of a gallery here that you can check out. And uh, yeah, it's cool. Let's check out the view. Oh, no sitting. Look at this. I see people walking across the street. You can just see how busy and popular it is. It is a Saturday afternoon here in Tokyo. So, oh, I definitely want to walk down that street. It looks like a walking street. Yeah, we might go do that. For sure. I think what I'd like to do, instead of eating here in Mitsukashi Mall, I'd like to walk down to that walking area that we saw just a minute ago, and I want to see what it's like on the street here in Ginza. So I'm going to take the escalator nine, uh, nine floors down. Now the question is, is the walking area over here, or is it over here? I don't know. I didn't walk on this side yet, so we'll find it eventually. Having a hard time orienting myself. I can't remember which side the, I was looking out. Excuse me. Oh man, even the green teas are more expensive here. I mean, it makes sense. It seriously makes sense. I think I will get one. The number one unsweetened green tea. Let's give it a rip, guys. I haven't tried this yet, but every green tea I've had here in Japan, of course, has just been incredible. Green tea. Nothing right home about. I mean, yeah, it's good. Don't get me wrong. Okay. Let's see if we can find this walking area. I think it's gonna either be down here or down here. It's hard to say. I mean, it seems like people are just not only walking in the street but sitting in the street here. So, this feels very European in a way. Yeah, you can just freely walk, it seems. So, Mitsukashi. Mall would have been, yeah, over here. So, yeah, we're on this stretch of road. Yeah, this seems to be very famous. People are taking photos. I'm gonna take a photo as well. So, first and foremost, I would ask you to please hit subscribe. Sorry, I'm in this guy's photo. I'd ask you to please hit subscribe. It would really help me out. And then second, I also do have an Instagram if you'd like to follow me there. It's hard to say if I was looking at that end or this end. We're gonna go towards this end anyway. Somebody getting interviewed here. Well, it should come as no surprise. You see things like Prada here and Gucci. And it seems like everywhere you walk here in Ginza, it's a very high-end retailer. I do believe that is the, yes, that is definitely the Sky Terrace or whatever right there. That's where I was looking at from the Mitsukashi Mall, for sure. Or the Sky Chandelier, I think is what it was called. So, we have indeed made it. Yeah, this area here, I would definitely not consider this area quaint in any way. This is, how do I say this? Luxury. This is luxe. This is luxe. This is luxury at its finest. Yeah, this is this is super luxe. One of the most luxe places I've been in my life, I would say. Right here, right now. And here's the unique low. That is definitely is definitely something that's on my agenda. Check out the unique low. So I think I will go do that. Maybe I'll take you with me. I don't know. I'll show you how much a shirt costs in Uniqlo. Oh, here's the G6 as well. I believe that was the other place I could have walked 
Yeah, Gein's a six. I think this is the other place I could have. Yep. Yep, Gein's a six. I could have walked there from the metro. Whoa, this Uniqlo looks insane, guys. Look at this Uniqlo, guys. Okay, so first you can see the, the Uniqlo coffee means that on the 12th floor, oh wow, it's 12 floors. But look at this. I've never seen this in a Uniqlo. Wow. I guess there are 12 floors here. That's insane. Is this the flagship shop, guys? Tell me, is this the flagship shop? Wow. Okay, I'm just gonna keep in mind that 1,500 yen is $10. So, so look at this. Look at this unique one. So if 1,500 yen is $10, 3,000 yen would be 20, which would put this at like 28 or $30 for this sweater. That's not bad. I like Uniqlo. Uniqlo has like very reasonably priced items that are of good quality. Say if you are from the US and you've ever gone to H&M, I'd say the quality might be a little bit better, actually, than H&M. Like, similar, but a little bit better. I'm saying Uniqlo's quality might be a bit better than H&M. All right, let's check out a few uh, shirts here. Let's see what is on this floor. So, I'm on the eighth floor, for those who are curious. I am going to be in warmer climates uh, from here on out for the rest of the year, so really don't have any need for this type of clothing. I'm still down to just two backpacks, so... I'm really looking for t-shirts here. But, like, these, these pants look nice. Okay, so this is like 30 bucks, maybe? Like, I'm uh, sorry, $40, maybe? Oh no, gosh, what am I doing? Yeah, no, I was right at the first time. It's like uh, $26 for this pair of pants. That's nice. That's nice, look at this. $26. Really nice. Oh, excuse me, sorry. A pair of jeans, same here, like $26 for a pair of jeans. And I don't know if you can tell, but the material is like really nice. Yeah, same here, like this khaki. Oh gosh, what are these called? I forget what these are called. There's a special name, but it's like $26. Chinos, they're called chinos. That's exactly what they're called. Yeah, a pair of nice chinos for uh, $26, guys. Seems like they've got the fall collection out here. Oh, nice, how much is a jacket? Okay. It's about 7,000 yen, almost, not even. So that would be uh, $40, something like that, for a jacket, I believe. That's a really good price. Let me double check. I use this app called Elk, which gives you really good price breakdown. Yeah, it's about $47 for a jacket. That's super cheap. Oh, I've never seen this before. A Uniqlo jersey. That is so cool. Look, like here's Shibuya Tokyo. I, I'm assuming this is just local stuff. Yeah, like here's like anime stuff. That's like, um, uh, I'm always blanking on the name. I watch this anime. It's just Juju Kaisen, I think is what it is. Yeah, Juju Kaisen. But you can, actually, I saw this in the one in uh, Taipei where they had a bunch of different like designs on the wall here like this in showcases. It's really cool uh, here for sure. So I think you can get like niche clothing here and like just special items that are local to specific stores here. Yeah, like this, if you watched my Akihabara video, I picked up this Devil Hunter shirt in uh, Taipei. Uh, but you can see it here. There's like one piece. This is cool, this is cool. This is like the one in Taipei, but 
bit much bigger. I actually don't know if it's a Japanese brand. I'm assuming Uniqlo is a Japanese brand. I don't know. I'm assuming. Because this feels like the flagship store, if I were to guess, but I have no idea. So I guess this is a special floor where maybe seasonal items. And maybe there's a cafe on this floor. <laughs> Thank you very much. Mm. So good. Also got a lemonade here. Unique look, you gotta do it, right? You gotta do it. Okay, well that is a definitely must do experience here in Ginza. Even if you don't want to buy anything, check out the Uniqlo store, it's very cool. So I'm rolling on a rice ball, a butter cookie, which you just saw me eat, and a lemonade. So it's 3.30, so it's like just about time for me to get food. But I get these, I get these ideas in my head. It's sort of like an OCD where like I need sushi and it's like I have to find sushi. I'm not like seven one of these things. Sadly, I don't think I'm dressed for a lot of these restaurants here in Ginza, but yeah. Okay, well, I mean, guys, maybe I'll settle, right? I mean, look, look at this. This is called Ginza Lion, Sapporo Beer Hall. I mean, guys. I'll settle for the Sapporo Beer Hall, even if I can't get sushi. I know, I'm glad because I have had a Sapporo in Osaka, but this seems to be like, I don't know, you gotta have it at the Sapporo Beer Hall. And the food here seems to be pretty good. Okay, you know what? Pork cutlet sandwich is also a local thing. I might have to do that. And a pretzel. Yeah. Guys, I feel like I'm in Game of Thrones. This is like a traditional beer hall. I feel like I'm at the Red Wedding. Let me know if you know that reference. But yeah, I got a soft pretzel. I feel like that's what you eat here at a beer hall. Uh, pork cutlet, which is a very Japanese item that I have not had yet. And a medium-sized Sapporo, so I will show you. Well, there will be more opportunities to eat sushi in Japan for now. Cheers. Straight from the source, guys. That is good. It's black label, Sapporo black label. I don't know if there's a difference, but it's smooth. Okay, here's the pretzel. Honestly, I thought it would be two. Oh, it's piping hot. Oh, oh, oh. Mm. One of the best combinations on earth. It's a soft pretzel and a beer, in my perspective, from my perspective. Yeah, I would say put this on your Ginza list, you might as well. So cool. Like, I don't know if it's showing up on the video, but this is like very uh, traditional architecture. Like, all I can say is it feels like if you've ever seen Game of Thrones, it feels like you're in a Game of Thrones dining hall. Very cool. Okay, so here's also the uh, pork cutlet. Is it hot? It is hot, I was wondering. I've seen these at 7-Eleven um, and they're cold. Hmm. Oh, that is good. You can see why it's popular. There's like a um, horseradish or like a brown mustard taste in here. Oh, mm. this is so good. All right, guys, you know what? I looked this up. Shiro Hanoka. I guess it's a premium beer by Sapporo. We're going to have to give it a rip. All right, so here it is. Shiro Hanoka. It's in a fancy glass here. Oh, that is 
so light and refreshing. Oh. Oh. I have to say, I prefer that over the Sapporo Black Label. It's much more expensive, but it is so light and refreshing. It tastes amazing. Well, I appear to have gone there just at the right time. There's now a line out the door here. And I had a very good experience there, drinking a few beers, having some food. Definitely recommend you check it out. Okay guys, I'll be real with you, Ginza. It's not really for me. I don't really wear like fancy clothes or anything. Most of you know that. I like to wear very, really casual, comfortable clothing. And most of this area is high-end shopping. So, I do, however, recommend that you come here because it is quite the experience, especially on the weekends. Take a look, take a look here, right? So I'm, it's about five o'clock, just about five o'clock, and it is shop to shop, door to door, wall to wall, busy here. Uh, definitely quite the experience, and I definitely recommend that you come here. But I think that just about wraps up this video for Ginza. So, thank you so much for being here. Definitely hit subscribe, I would really appreciate it, and I'm gonna certainly be talking to you again soon. Peace. Yum.